Hello guys, welcome to my first vlog. I'm Ilya and today I'm gonna give you some tips that you can use. It is about how to live in a tight budget. Mm, why I choose these tips is because I actually I'm also try to live in a tight budget. So here we go. The first tips is you can bring your own breakfast or lunch. I often do these tips when I go to campus. I bring my own lunch and so I don't need to buy to buy lunch there. Uh, even so buying food maybe isn't a big deal but I think it can little bit little bit save your money right and the second is try not to buy something that you don't really need right now uh, if there and if there's something you wanted to buy you should realize is are you really need that things are you really need that thing after a month later or not and is your life still continued even though you don't have that thing you should think about it so it will help you to save your money the third is don't be afraid to borrow or rent something my mother often asks me to borrow tools or cooking equipment from my neighbor because she thinks that she doesn't really need that thing right now and she told that she will real, rarely use that thing so she doesn't need to buy just just borrow or rent that things and the third is if you really need that things if you really need to buy that thing make sure that you should focus on the quality not in the price because besides you should save your money you also should focus on the things quality to make sure is that thing can be used for a longer period of time and because if the quality is bad you will replace the things after often more quickly so it will better if you buy the things that is more expensive and but it can stand for a longer period of time the fifth is don't be afraid to do part-time job I often help my grandma in her small shop and she sell some food like a tahu telur or house food and when her house her shop get crowded I used to help her to serving the buyers and I don't really think that I really help her because sometimes she paid me even though it is not a uh, so much money but it can be my income the sixth is try to get scholarship I think nowadays there are many scholarship in Indonesia both domestic or foreign scholarship and if you get this scholarship it will really help you because you should study hard and the government will pay your school education of course you can continue your education to a higher level and it will not burden your parents so I think that's all that tips that I can give to you 
thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video